Greetings, guys, gals, and all binary pals, and welcome back to another video. We all know of TikTok. <laughs> some of us use it, some of us don't. I go through phases of do and don't, but right now I'm on a big do phase. I've been on TikTok a lot recently, and that includes on my work phone, which is always a lot of fun because I have not curated my For You page at all other than saving things for work. So I come across some absolute gems. And a topic tag that I wanted to have a look into today is couple comedy, which is basically just a lot of straight people doing straight people things and being like, wife bad, marriage bad, or watch me piss off my wife kind of thing. So it's basically, let's take a dive into straight TikTok, but it's a different side of straight TikTok to what we normally look into. So I thought that that could be quite interesting. I actually came across some of these while planning my weaponized incompetence video. So there are some that slightly cross over a little bit, please ignore that. Uh, and then there's just a bunch that is just like, a headache. But I guess we could call this an episode of Are the Straits Okay? And I'm gonna jump the gun, jump right in there and say, no, no they aren't. Leave your comments below. What do you think? Do you think the straights will finally be okay? But before I do get into it, I would like to say a massive thank you to today's patron of the day, Enoli Like Cannoli. I appreciate you so much. So thank you so much for all of your support. Um, I hope that you enjoy this video. And if anyone else would like to become a patron, you go to patreon.com slash savvy cat or I'll click the top link in the description. I appreciate it a lot. Right, let's get into some fun TikToks. So first we have a stand-up comedian. That's what I call my wife, Captain Evil. She's like a messed up superhero. If I'm ever having too much fun, she will show up. <laughs> What's going on over here? What are you, smiling? We gotta go, we gotta go. I'm tired, I'm sick, I'm hungry, I'm cold, I'm hot, I hate him, I hate her. Fuck! Wife, no, like, fun. Wife, ruin everything. Hey, man, you don't have to be married. <laughs> you don't have to be married. And if you know that your wife isn't going to enjoy an event, why don't you go by yourself? I don't know, I feel like there needs to be some conversation, some discussion. If your wife genuinely just hate seeing you happy, then I just don't think you should be together anymore. Although I always have these questions of like, what was their relationship like before they got married, you know? And I also am just like, we have this whole massive idea of like, you have to stay with this person forever, even if you no longer love each other, even if you no longer get along, like you don't have to. If you genuinely feel miserable all the time, please just leave the relationship. I know it's a little bit harder when you're married, but like figure out some new boundaries, come to new realizations and be like, I think we need to have more time apart. Like I'm gonna go to these events by myself. You can go do some things by yourself. We don't have to be together all the time. Like come up with new boundaries that work better for you as a couple and work better for your relationship and stop applying like these world standards on your relationship. You shouldn't be miserable. You shouldn't be complaining about your wife all the time. Yeah, you're, you're a grown up. Do things by yourself if you need to. And like also at the same time, respect your wife's decisions, you know? Like if she wants to go home, she wants to go home and she can go home by herself too. And if she doesn't wanna do that and she wants to drag you away even though you're having a good time, again, maybe you should have a conversation about this. You should each want each other to be happy. And that sometimes means doing different things. The best part of having a husband, you can tell him any secret and he will not tell a living soul because he wasn't listening to you in the first place. Hey, <laughs> can we please, I don't know, listen, listen to our partners when they're speaking to us, please. And also, Please set your standards higher, have higher standards, raise the bar. Please be with someone who listens to you and cares about what you're saying. Please don't stay with someone who does not give a fuck, who doesn't listen to you, who doesn't care about your emotions or what you've done in the day or like anything. 
The best part about relationships is talking. Like the best part about a relationship is sharing things. Like when I'm in a relationship, I love just telling them things and talking to them and hearing about things and like having conversation, asking for advice, sharing advice, telling stories. Like that's the best part of a relationship. And you don't have that. You don't have that at all. He doesn't listen to you. Do you listen to him? Probably. Um, that needs to be mutual. You should listen to each other. And if your husband doesn't ever listen to you and like doesn't help you with like advice and such or like just doesn't really care enough. Like if you have a secret that you want to tell him, that's kind of always like, you know, a big deal. It's always something that you want to talk about. And if he's not willing to talk about it, fucking leave him. I'm sorry. <laughs> but like, that just doesn't sound like a good relationship to be in. And so many people normalize this. It's like, my husband never listens. You get it on t-shirts all the time of like king of ignoring people. Like, I'm sorry I wasn't listening. Like, listen to your partners, listen to your friends. Just engage in conversation and listen to other people talk, even when it's not about you. Please. After an argument, I told him, I'm going out. I'm gonna be heading out. Right, I'm gonna um, get some drinks with the girls, go. Some what? Some drinks with the girls. Do I have drinks? Yeah. There's water here, can you drink here? <laughs> no, not, not water. Just, I'm gonna... You're going like that? Yeah, what's wrong with this? What do you mean with this? Half naked? This is not half naked. Showing half of your body, showing your abs. Like, what? what? This is how Nobody the shirt is. Nobody wants to see that. This is how the shirt is. You're gonna go nowhere. <laughs> All right, you can go, but I'm going with you. I'm no. tagging along. Yeah. No, you're not gonna dress. I'm fine. I mean, since when do I have to dress up? I think no, I look have good. Big slippers on. It's okay. So oh. we're just walking. No. We're coming. Let's go. Oh, no, no. <laughs> Sorry, firstly, did you call her half naked when she's literally wearing jeans and a long sleeve shirt because she has like a sliver of midriff and like possibly a little bit of her collarbones and you're like, you're half naked. She was fully covered. I would say she was dressed incredibly modestly. <laughs> I have to assume this is a skit, right? I have, to, I have to assume. I have to assume that a lot of the time because it makes no sense to me if they aren't. But like, let's pretend that it's not because like, obviously they find this very amusing and it's not an abnormal conversation of like, please, for the love of God, let your partners go out and do things by themselves. And also understand that them dressing is not dressing for attention or approval of men or people that they are interested in romantically or sexually, it's so that they can feel good and so that their friends can be like, oh my God, girl, you look so hot. Like that's, <laughs> that's what it's for. And so their friends can be like, oh, you look so good. I'm obsessed with your outfit. I love your top. You look so fucking hot today. That's what it's for. It's for their friends. It's for themselves. It's, it's not so other people are gonna pay attention to them and want to like flirt with them. Cause if you're going out for drinks with the girls, I don't fucking want a man coming up and flirting with me. No, thank you. I dress cute because I want my friends to be like, that's a cute top because yeah, it is a cute top. I look fucking cute today. Thank you for noticing. And then I'll be like, oh my God, I love your fucking outfit and your hair. You look fantastic. Like that's what it's for. That's who I'm dressing for. Myself, for my friends, I don't give a fuck about anyone else <laughs> except for like, other women who are like, oh my God, I love your outfit. Like that's who I'm dressing for. It's compliments from other women without any flirtation, without any like anything else, just like admiring how fucking nice my outfit is and how good I look, right? It's not for anything else. And assuming that they do dress for like male attention is just like, don't, don't assume that. And also, even if they got male attention, why does it fucking matter? Trust your partners to not act on anything. You should trust your partners. What do you, what do you don't want your partner to go out? Why? Why can't she go out for drinks with the girls? Why can't she go dressed half naked? Why? What's the problem? Because other men are gonna perceive her? And? And what about it? Other men perceive her. Who cares? What does that, what does that matter? What has that got to do with anything? You don't own her. Other men are allowed to see her. She's allowed to exist out in the world. She doesn't need you there. She's a grown fucking woman. She can exist in the world and other people are allowed to perceive her. And again, I've said this before, but I'm gonna say it again. It's like, they're always like, I trust you. I just don't trust other men. Okay, 
So men are the problem then. Men, all men. You don't trust any men. Because a lot of the time when we try to say that, you're always like, it's not all men. I would never. I would never. Most men don't. It's only a couple of men. And then as soon as a woman is like, I'm going to go out, you're like, how dare you? Other men exist. It's like a case of men are the fucking problem then. Like, come on. Be for real right now, please. Let your partners go out. Let your partners have lives. Let them be independent. You are allowed to go out and do whatever the fuck you want. You don't need to ask for permission. You know, if you have plans, then like don't bail on your plans. You maybe ask your partner like, do we have anything planned for tonight? And if the answer is no, go do whatever the fuck you want. It doesn't matter. It's not... It's not got anything to do with them. Just be safe, you know? She captioned like, how could I still be mad at him? Because he's being controlling. So you should be mad at him. He didn't do anything to deserve you to be unmad at him. If anything, he did things to make you be more mad at him. Because what the fuck? My wife, every time I sit down. Can you come help me put the dishes away? Okay, bro. I have a suggestion for you so that this doesn't happen again. If you see your wife doing the dishes, before you go sit down, go to her and say, Hey, would you like a hand? And then... She's not gonna call and ask you for help once you sit down because you're already helping because you want to help out. And because if you help out, it'll be done in half the time and then you can sit down together and spend time together. Or even sit down and spend time separately, but it means she's not doing everything. If you don't want your wife <laughs> to ask you to do things, offer to do things. In the caption it says, every time I sit down, my wife asks me to do things. So you expect it. You literally, as you were sitting down, were looking being like, is she gonna notice? Is she gonna call me over? So you knew she was gonna ask for help then. And yet you still didn't offer. Why don't you just offer? Take out the step. It removes frustration from her. It removes frustration from you. And you still end up doing the task no matter what. Just offer to help. Someone did say that. Um, They commented, maybe you should do some chores without having to be asked like an adult. And he responded in the most adult way possible. Maybe you should do some chores without having to be asked like an adult. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's what I think about your comment. <laughs> Bro, grow up, please. The comment is right. Why don't you just do some chores without being asked like a fucking adult and then you respond like a child? What did you think you were doing there? Who do you think you were fucking like owning there? Who, who do you think won that argument? Because I promise you it was not you. You just further proved that you were acting like a child and your poor wife is there being like, ha 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 ha, so funny. Like just be an adult, please. When my wife asks me to clean after I cook and it's his very heavily pregnant wife cleaning the dishes and like looking rightfully pissed off and then it turns to his face and him singing the lyrics, well, I really did it this time. So, I understand the deal of I cook, you clean. It makes sense. That's what we do in my house. That's what we did growing up. It's like, if I cook, you clean. That makes sense to me, right? However, bro, your wife is very pregnant right now and it must be very uncomfortable to be standing all the time. Like, please? Just do the fucking dishes. She has a whole human in there. She's growing a person inside her body. She must be uncomfortable, in pain, like her hormones, like emotional. Like being pregnant seems incredibly difficult. And a lot of people struggle to stand up for long periods of time and do tasks. And you're making her do the dishes? Just 
do the chores. I know I've been sitting here preaching about like splitting it 50-50. She is growing a person. And not just in like the early stages of pregnancy, she is like the end of that pregnancy where it must be so unpleasant and heavy. And just like a baby pressing on your fucking, all of your organs, your spine. Do the dishes. Don't make your pregnant wife stand up and clean up, please. Oh my God. Especially when she's asked you to, like she's asking for a reason. Like maybe some days she's fine and she's fine to clean, but right now is a bad day. Potentially the baby is like fucking kicking her really hard right now or has moved. Maybe she's really uncomfortable at the moment. Please just let her be off her feet and do the task that she has asked you to do because she's carrying a human inside of her right now. When my wife asks me to clean the house and there's a vacuum that says, please clean the house before I get home. And he says, no, 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 no. Laundry, please put away clothes. No, 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 no. And then a sign that says, don't be trifling. And he goes, no, 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 no. And he steals a sock. Ha ha, my wife wants me to clean. Not gonna happen. Not my job. I don't wanna do that. Ha ha ha. Ah! <laughs> just do things. Please just help out. Oh my God, she's asking you to like clean. They're all jobs that she has to do. Why won't you do them? Take some responsibility. Be a grown up, okay? If you are capable of doing the tasks, please do them every now and then. And now we have another stand-up comedian. I am married, yay. <laughs> <laughs> I think the problem with marriage for men is that there's, not, there's no good advice for men. You ever realize that, fellas? On my wedding day, I asked my dad, right? And we've all heard this one. I was like, dad, what can you tell me? He said, mijo, happy wife, happy life, <laughs> right? I was like, what about happy husband? He laughed his balls off <laughs> during the whole ceremony. <laughs> Every time the priest says something, he's like, <laughs> I just truly don't understand what's so funny about it. I don't know why everyone's laughing. I don't know why this is a common joke. You should make each other happy. That should be what marriage is. That's what relationships should be, is you make each other happy. And it's so funny because like, the way that they view it is so interesting because it's like happy wife, happy life. What about happy husband? It comes down to a lot of the time, the thing of like, happy wife means, you know, you do things equally. You share responsibility, you share burden, you take care of each other, you communicate with each other. That's happy wife. Happy husband is wife does everything and doesn't ask for anything in return. That's why it's not happy husband. That's why it's happy wife. Because happy husband means your wife serving you. It's like in the Barbie movie, right? Of in Barbie land, it is the women are all in charge. You know, they have all the jobs. The Barbies like run everything and the cans are kind of just there. They're just kind of vibing. Um, they're friends with Barbies, but they're kind of just like there existing and vibing. However, when it switches and the Kens are in control, the Barbies are serving them. Yeah? The men stole everything the Barbies built. They didn't make anything themselves. They just took everything that was already existent and stole it from the Barbies. And they used the Barbies as servants. They got the Barbies to do everything for them and took away their autonomy. Happy man is woman serves him. Happy woman is just existing. <laughs> like, that's why. Maybe you should just be happy with being her equal and then it's fine. And then you're both happy. So I found this TikTok couple that I think is super odd and maybe I'll do a whole video about them later. I don't know, let me know your thoughts. Um, but here's the TikTok.
no, 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 no. <laughs> now, normally I would explain what's going on over the top of the TikTok. However, I needed you all to hear the annoyingly uncomfortable silence that was happening throughout that whole thing because they like mime but don't put music over it and it's just so strange um so i'll explain what happened now for like you know those of you who aren't like visually watching or can't basically this girl comes into the room dressed up in like her heels a like short skirt and like a top that's like you know a little bit like cleavagey um, and like a cute bag. And her boyfriend is like, no, 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 no. And sits her down, takes her shoes and replaces them with like ugly slides. He takes like a long like wrap thing and like ties it around her waist so she has a longer skirt. And then he puts her in like a big jacket and then takes her bag and gives her a big paper bag instead. And then it's like, okay, now you can go out. And throughout this, the uncomfortable like silence and like slapping you here is her just going like, hmm, hmm, and like being angry and like pouting. And just like, stop, <laughs> please. Let your partners exist. Don't, it's not even let, right? It's just don't control them. Like you don't have the authority to tell them what to wear. That's not your decision. That's not up to you. That's their own decision. They can go out wearing whatever the fuck they want to and it has nothing to do with you. I hate to break this to you, but women are allowed to be perceived and you don't own us. You don't own anyone. Your girlfriend is not your property. She does not exist for your eyes only. She is a person She's allowed to exist in the world and she's allowed to wear what she wants because what she wears has nothing to do with literally anything. Stop being controlling. And also anyone, if your partner is controlling what you can and can't wear when you leave the house, that's not okay. And I hope that you were able to get out of that relationship because if, that, if they're doing that, they're definitely doing other stuff as well. You, you don't really ever get just one controlling thing. Like have a conversation about it. And if they don't respect that and they say, it's just a boundary that I have, break up with them. That's not a boundary. That's them being controlling. You're allowed to do what you want with your body. You're allowed to wear what you want, okay? It's got nothing to do with them. And if your partner says, it just makes me uncomfortable, why? That's not a decision they're allowed to make. It's not a decision they're allowed to make. It's not up to them. It's up to you what you wear. I'm going to end with one final TikTok. Now, <laughs> I'm gonna have to warn you before I go into it. It's one of the worst TikToks I've seen. It makes me uncomfortable. I absolutely despise it. And I wanted to quit after I watched it. So that's your warning. So this is a girl sitting on her bed with her boyfriend, like lifting off her skirt, looking between her legs. And it says, when she tries making the excuse that she hasn't shaved. Good afternoon. My name is Russell and I am a wilderness explorer in Tribe 54. And listen, using an audio from a kid's show for that is just gross. I really, really don't like it. I don't think you should be using the audio of like a child because as well, the voice actors on Bluey are actual children. Like you are using an actual child's voice from a child's TV show in this context. And that's so gross. I absolutely despise it. And I don't think we should be doing that. Please stop bringing kids and children's things into sex situations, please. It's so gross and uncomfortable. And like, I get the joke you were trying to make, but can you use any other audio? Don't rip one from a kid's show, please. Especially because there are like, I don't know, kids on this app. <laughs> Maybe there shouldn't be, but there are. And also, even still, like using audio from Louis, from a kid's show, which is something that, you know, is very 
pure and wholesome because it's a kid's show. And a lot of adults see it as like a safe space and something that they enjoy. And who like like other TikToks under this audio are gonna get this shit on their For You page, which is just like not at all what anyone wants from their Bluey. It's like a, like a comfort thing and you're sexualizing it. And it's like putting it on a lot of people's For You pages who really don't wanna fucking see it. And it's taking a comfort thing and kind of ruining it. Yeah, it's making a lot of people uncomfortable. Also, your girlfriend shouldn't be like making an excuse, right? Like if she feels, firstly, if she thinks that saying she hasn't shaved is gonna turn you off, then like you need to do some reflecting on that. Um, and secondly, if she feels the need to come up with an excuse to not have sex, maybe you should have better communication. Maybe she should feel safe enough to say no and have you respect it and not get upset with her. And also maybe you shouldn't fight her on that and be like, no, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. If she doesn't want to, she doesn't want to. Just leave it. If she says like, no, I haven't shaved, you can be like, that's okay, I don't mind. And then if she's like, oh, okay, then that's fine. Then that's great. But if you are using it as like, she makes the excuse, then it implies that she was trying to get out of it and you shouldn't override that. You should just respect that. So yeah, um, this has been my video. I think I'm gonna leave it here. I hope that you have enjoyed. I'm sure we can all agree that the straights definitely are still not okay and I don't think they ever will be, but you know, it makes it fun if that's the right word. A massive thank you to my Sprout and Above patrons whose names are up on the screen right now. And a huge, huge thank you to my Kiwi Cat patrons. Harry, Toulouse, Bobby, Sparrow, Josh, Mandy, Robbie, Ikazel, Jessica, Eldo, Trini, Ida, Raven, Danielle, Enoli Like Cannoli, Elias, Evie, Jewel, Apollo, Taylor is Trying, Boston, and Chris. I love and appreciate you all so, so much. Thank you so much for joining. If you would like to become a patron, you can go to patreon.com slash savvycat or click the top link in the description. For as little as one pound a month, you get my videos a day early and podcasts a week early. And then for three pounds and up, you get things such as outtakes, bonus mini podcasts, live streams, vlogs, and more. Uh, don't forget to follow me on Instagram, The Queer Kiwi, and Twitter, That Queer Kiwi. Like, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. I hope that you enjoy the rest of your day. Stay safe. Keep fighting. I love you. Mwah. <laughs>